Okay, here we are back in uh, Matrix Gold. Uh, I wanted to, I, last video I made, I did on the profile uh, sweep. I'm actually going to touch base on that a little bit more uh, because it's a very uh, interesting uh, tool that you can use. So let's let's go ahead and get started real quick. I'm gonna throw a rail out there, size seven of course. I'm going to go to my curves menu and gr right click on it so I get one from both sides. Change it to yellow, uh, hold down shift, go to my quad and then just draw a line out. We're going to put this on a uh, smart flow surface uh, and uh, I'll show you uh, some uh, other techniques that you can use to get some really crazy designs. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, sweep this, uh, sweep one. Uh, and enter and we have that surface. I'm going to take that surface put it on gray and uh, We'll go to transform uh, Auto base select our surface slaps it down automatically. We'll drag it up Out and a little bit further And we'll go ahead and accept that I'm going to change that to gray as well And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, dupe those borders uh, but the way I'm going to do it is not all one. I'm going to do them individually. I'm going to take that one, hit enter, enter, right click, take this one, enter, enter, take this one, enter, enter, and right click and take this one, enter, enter. And I'm going to draw a line across the mids, both directions. And uh, now I'm just going to hide my gray. So I have uh, all this out there. And I'm going to take that and turn it to gray as well, get rid of it. Okay, so this just gives me a little outline, and I don't have to have that uh, uh, gray out there showing up everywhere. So we'll hide that. Okay, uh, so from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a gem. And we'll just get one, and we'll take it down to like around... Uh, that one's that size good enough and I'll hit enter and I'm gonna click on it grab it from that point and whoop wrong wrong one I'm gonna grab it from the point and drag it over to my surface and it'll snap to the center of my surface and then I'll go to the front and uh, drag it up some not too far uh, something like around there maybe and we'll just go ahead and slap a bezel on that and we'll go ahead and drag that down edit it a little bit I'll make it a little thicker just a little bit and we'll take that okay so now we can go to our and it, those lines also give me a line to be able to put the profiles on uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, go to our curves, and uh, we'll well tools. Sorry, and we'll grab a profile and we'll put it on this line here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, change it to the Z direction, and I'm going to drag it out a little bit. At toward the end, you'll see why we do this. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to uh, go ahead and enter right now. And actually, I want to uh, take, let's see, uh, take uh, this line, and I want to split it with this line and hit Enter. Okay, so that we should have two lines there. So I'm going to go back to my curves. And the reason I'm doing this is being able to snap it to the mid and come over here and snap it to the mid, holding down Shift is because now I know this is oh that one's off uh, now I know uh, this the four corners of my uh, rail so let me let me swing this one over real quick so I know this is the midsection here this is the midsection here this is the top and of course the ends are the bottom so I have a little bit of reference points that I can be able to manipulate and use so I'm going to go back to this rail here and I'm going to edit it 
uh, actually not edit but place another one so I'm just gonna snap one right here alright and I want this one to be a 2.5 and we'll drag it out a little bit and we'll take go back and edit this one a little bit to a 2.5 and we'll make it a little bit thinner alright and then I'm going to go ahead and add one here uh, this one we're going to do a, a little manipulation on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and swing it around. And we're going to go ahead and uh, make a crazy size here. And we'll even angle it a little bit. Okay, so it's kind of a circle type shape. Let's make a little more oval. And we'll drag it out something and eh, maybe not that far and we'll swing it around okay uh, the thing with the let's see we'll bring it in a little uh, the thing with the profile sweep command is you can sweep multiple profiles uh, but not at one time uh, you take that one sweep it to this one and of course we'll turn off the automatic seam and we'll drag this to this side and it gives us that seam right there right and now what we can do is we can right click and then click on this one and bring it around and we'll do the same thing drag it out to this side and now we can manipulate it so we can sweep it around that thing we can bring it out or take it back in you can do a lot of manipulation and hit enter and if I want to you can go back to this rail uh, or back to this profile here and you can manipulate it and everything will update as you're moving it so it's it's a it's a pretty cool way to be able to uh, move things move things around uh, on a surface uh, flat you can put all kinds of different profiles out there uh, which makes it really really easy to use and I'm going to actually make that a little thinner and I'm going to go back to my surface here take a look at it because it looks like it's a little bunched up there so I'm going to drag it out a little bit so it's a little bit smoother surface nicer area there and then hit enter and then again what we can do here since this is all a one surface if I try to explode it it's a NURB surface so I can't explode it but what I can do is put points on and now I have all the points on and I can manipulate it to get it to where hide my bezel hide my stone I want all those front prongs or those front uh, end uh, control points and I'm going to try to uh, a little bit there we go select all these and then what I can do is holding down shift I can go to this corner with my point snap on I can just drag it in and close it off it broke history but that's okay and hit enter and then just type in points off and now I have this surface here uh, so I can put my stone back on put my put my bezel back on and then I can take this and this join them together and rotate it copy yes F4 or no from uh, this point that we have in the center of our and then hold down shift swing it around and there we go alright so I have something like this and you can continue manipulating on it now it took away that 
profile so you can't really mess around with that profile anymore uh, so we'll turn back on gray real quick we'll go to our transform menu uh, smart flow select our bait select our base select our surface that's pointing down that's pointing up so UV or U flip and we'll go ahead and uh, select our objects we want to flow that would be this one and this one and hit enter wait for a second and then we want to go ahead and select our rigid which would be the block instance and our bezel deselect that one hold down control and hit enter and there you go And then you can pave stones in there. Go ahead and enter. Take take this. Go ahead and ungroup it. Take our bezel. Change it back to purple. Take our stone and put it on a blue. Turn off our gray. Hide all this. And now you have a simple bezel set bypass ring. Uh, the last thing you'd have to do is down here, uh, you want to close it off, right? So you go to your curves menu, uh, dupe, ed, dupe border. Actually, I'm just going to type in uh, dupe border. And I'm going to select this and hit enter. And it puts me my profiles on there and hit enter. Make sure they're all one. Get rid of that one. Must have done it twice. Get rid of that one. And then you just have to do a surface one sweep here. Here's the rail. Here's our curve. Here's our curve. Hit enter and hit enter and then we need to fix that curve so go to edit seam point adjust point this profile here hit enter we just need to take one of them flip it over hit enter and there you go now it's just joining everything together uh, join okay it didn't join because they're mirror their group so ungroup them take this surface this surface and this surface and join and they should all be joined but they're not take oh okay it's capped that's why okay so just go ahead and explode it take okay well take this hide take this hide we don't want this here so delete that delete that bring everything back out take this this and this join it there you go close surface There's a nice little ring you can do all kind of stuff with. You can put a jelly on there with the uh, wires going across. You can pave diamonds in there. There's all kind of things you could do. But that uh, sweep command, uh, just the profile sweep, is just a uh, kind of an interesting way to make up some like freeform designs. So uh, it's good to have in your arsenal. Uh, so I hope the video helps. Uh, and if it did, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment below. Thanks for watching. Good designing.